Hey guys, Vishal here and today I'm gonna show you how to install Android 4.4 on S2S with SIM support. Guys, if you are beginners, uh, then this can be a little bit complicated. So be sure to check the basic video to install Android 4.4 on S2S without SIM support, which is popping right now on the screen. So keeping that in mind, let's go on. So clearly visible, you have to download these files of somewhat around, let me show you the size of somewhat around 642 MB so download them before you go the links for these files can definitely be found on the description box right below this video uh, let me show you the links what you can find here so these links you will find in the description uh, you will find separate links for separate six files and most of the links are at devhost.com so let me show you how to download from that let me open the link so guys on this page you want to press this download now button please don't press this download button with orange color otherwise you're gonna mess up let me show you what will happen if i press this this gonna happen up so just press this download now button and it will start downloading i'm not downloading it again so let me close all this stuff and come back to my tutorial so guys first thing you wanna do is to install the Samsung USB drivers so open the first folder then extract this file I'm extracting it on the same folder now install it I'm gonna keep everything simple for you guys so that you can have everything right on your screen so just install the setup and next next install and finish I don't wanna show you how to install some setup kind of thing okay Now the setup has been installed so just go back and open this Odin folder and then extract this Odin file. Okay that's done now you can again go back and now you have to open this third folder and extract this Hungarian ROM. Okay guys now you are actually ready to jump on your phone so let me go back and bump uh, up to my phone. So guys on your phone what you wanna do is to go about settings then go through all the stuffs and at the bottom select the developer options press ok and hit the USB debugging option and again press ok. Now your phone is uh, actually ready to be flashed so just power off your device. I think now it's done. Now hit power key, volume down key and home key simultaneously at the same time until the phone vibrates. Do it in the same manner I am doing. And wait for a bit. Now read this warning and it's a uh, right time to connect your phone to the PC. So just connect it and then just press volume up key to continue and now you are actually ready and now you can jump to your PC now you have to install the Hungarian ROM so open the Odin folder then double hit the exe file and now here in this box you can see that my phone is perfectly connected so now just hit this PDA button and then navigate to Hungarian ROM that I have extracted earlier here it is uh, just select that and open and now you can hit start but please make sure that this auto reboot and f reset time are checked and making it in mind uh, just go and press start and now wait till the process completes Now it has finished and my phone has been booted. Let me wait for the complete boot. If it doesn't booting up then just disconnect the charger and guys skip if it perfectly boots up. This is not for all. So you can see it's not booting up here so let me remove the battery. 
and then just replace it. And now open the recovery mode holding the volume up key, down key, power key and home key all together simultaneously at the same time and leave uh, uh, when the phone vibrates. Ok recovery has been booted up. Now you have to select third option which is wipe data and factory reset. So just select it using the power key and now select yes delete all the user data again using the power key. When it's done you can reboot your device and this time it should work fine and it should boot up perfectly if it is still not working let me know in the comment section. So guys let me set up everything. And it's completely done. Now if what you want to do is to go about settings. Uh, it's lagging a little bit. So okay go about settings and then just go to the bottom and select developer options. Oops I want to select developer options and then just press ok and again enable the USB debugging and just hit ok and now you can go back. Ok now uh, I am ready to go and you can connect your phone to the PC now at the moment. And here I am. Guys now I wanna send some of the files to my phone so wait for the phone to connect. If it is not connecting up then try reconnecting it a couple of times and it should work well. So wait for some time it should work well if it's still not working try reconnecting it again for me it works up and let me wait for the drivers to install. And my driver starting loading up and try it a couple of times it should also work for you. It has done. And now I should be able to access my phone's memory. Now you wanna send some files. So just navigate to TWRP recovery folder and oops it again pops up. So then copy this recovery.zip. Please don't extract it you wanna directly copy it to the external storage of your device. Now go back and open the CM11 folder. Now. Uh, let me open it. You even don't want to extract it. Just directly copy it on the external storage of your phone. And guys make sure you are pasting all these files on the external storage as on internal storage this is not gonna work because of TWRP recovery not having any option to browse internal memory in our case. So now let's go back and now you can move up to your phone. So guys what you wanna do is to shut your device down. So let me do that. Now it's done and now we can boot into the downloading mode. So let's do that. Oops it can mess up while the phone connected so guys you have to remove the uh, power cable while doing this task so remove the power cable and also remove the battery to completely turn off your device again okay then just replace it and guys please leave the device back cover removed as you will need it many times so now you can boot into the downloading mode using the exact same power home and volume key uh, volume down key basically what is so now you can hit volume up key to continue and now you can connect your phone to the PC and put that aside. Jumping onto the PC what you wanna do is to go to the clockwork mode recovery folder which in this case is CWM folder and then extract the file. I'm extracting it on the same folder. Now I have to go back to the Odin folder and then just double hit the Odin exe file. Now I think I have opened two Odin so let me close the older one and now on this guy what you want to do is to select the PDA option which is right here and then you have to go back to the CWM folder and then just uh, select the extracted file and hit start. It's not gonna take a lot of time 
uh, so makes your hand ready to remove the battery of phone And now it has finished up and as soon as the phone vibrates just remove the battery. Ok my phone has been vibrated and I have to remove the battery before it boots up. So just remove it and place it back and if by mistake your phone boots up you have to flash the recovery file again by following the same method. Now you have to boot into the recovery so hold the power key volume up and down key and also the home key all together at the same time until the phone vibrates. Now my phone has been booted into the clockwork mode recovery and it is version 5.5. On recovery you can select the option using home key so choose the second option which is choose zip from SD card. Then uh, choose uh, a zip from SD card which is the first option. Oops, you don't have to open this option. This is for internal storage, I guess. There's some sort of problem in this version of clockwork mode recovery. Anyway, go back and now choose install zip from internal storage, which is indeed the external storage of the phone. Don't know what's the matter. Now navigate uh, where it is. Yes, recovery.zip, the file that you have placed earlier on your phone and select that and then select yes, install recovery.zip and wait for the installation to complete and now it's done and now you can go back and then uh, remove the battery to again completely turn off your device and then place it again and now you have to open the recovery mode holding the power key volume up key down key and also the home key and wait for a bit and this time team wind recovery gonna pop up on your phone so guys this recovery is completely touch and you can touch the first option install to open it and navigation can also be done using the touch. And guys from this recovery you cannot install anything from your internal storage so make that sure in your mind only SD card is supported. Okay so firstly I would recommend to wipe the data so going uh, back you have to select wipe and swipe this bar for factory resetting the phone. And now you can see all the status on your screen what is uh, it is doing and let the process be completed. It has completely formatted the phone and now you can go back and again go back and select install and then select CM11 ROM file and now you can read all this and then you can swipe this for confirming the installation. And this can take a bit so please guys don't interrupt the process. And now it's done and now you can restart the phone. And guys first boot can take a bit so please uh, put your phone aside and wait for it. So guys now my phone has been booted and you can see this configuration subscription appearing on the screen. So just press ok and then select configure sim cards, turn the sim on and again press ok and then ok. So you can also change the sim name, I am not changing it right now. So just cancel it. And you can see that now the phone is supporting the sim card. Now you can go back and again go back and now set up the phone. I'm skipping this part because I know you all know how to set up a room. And wow, this is Android KitKat with SIM support, so that's all what we need. So as usual, disable the internet connection and now have some closer look at this room. Firstly, let me decrease the brightness. Okay, this looks fine. And then let me show you the settings. So uh, let me go to the settings. Move down to the bottom and then about phone and now you can see it's uh, Android 4.4.4 KitKat. So guys if some of you have been wondering where is the Google Play application I have left the link down below in the description so download it and then install it on your phone and you will have the Google Play application. So thanks for watching guys a subscription will be much appreciated.